Okay, hello and welcome ladies and gents to Always Busy Gaming. Today on your screens we are back with some Expeditions Rome. Probably this is going to be the last time we uh, live stream this playthrough. As the last episode of this playthrough. We're just going uh, to try and change the ending. I felt really bad when my best friend Kaizo uh, you know kind of reneged and said hey we, do, we are not going to follow you if you go down this course of action so that that caused uh, a momentary rift in my frame of mind and I decided that you know okay we shall go and explore the path that we want to but let's see you know is there a way to keep Kaizo happy too and still win the game so this is us take, checking out an alternate ending. We've already spoken to everybody, so I'm not going to do that again. I already know what they're going to say. And now it's going to. Shall we store your weapons at the villa as usual? That's what we're going to do. By all means, we're going to surrender our weapons and move in. Are you sure? What makes you think you can win a battle of words against Lurko? I'm good with words, and this time we have evidence to support our claims. Certainly, but keep in mind he has enough evidence to condemn all of us as well. Even if we can destroy him and get him exiled, it may well cost us our own lives. Are you ready to pay that price? If the price of justice is our lives, I say so be it. Slow down. What if I don't want to be part of a potential murder trial? Does that mean you will not come with us? All I'm saying is I would like to at least be asked. We have faced many battles together. But it takes real courage to face sudden death. There is no need for this kind of doom and gloom. We can convince the Senate. Let us not base all our plans on the worst possible outcome. This is the right thing to do. The gods shall favor us. Are you with us, Kalida? Of course I am. It seems you have reached a decision. Let us disband the Legion with us. I have to get ready to present our evidence. Very well. For a moment I had my doubts about you. For that I apologize. Well, you were right to right. have your doubts. Let's go celebrate that we all made it back alive. First round is on me. This dude loves his drinks. Okay, so we, we are going for the diplomatic approach. We are not putting Rome to the sword. If you want to see that, then you should check out episode 11. <laughs> we did precisely that. And boy, oh boy, did all of Rome come out to resist us. And we cut them down in the streets. We cut them down in their villas. We cut them down on the fields. And Rome was ours. This time, we are going to play things tactfully. Res Republic, Republica. Okay, this is the last you act. Can't defend yourself on an empty stomach. Eat up. My belly will burst if I eat more. A wise choice, Domine. Too much food induces sleep too. Now that you are back from another war. What do you want to do next? Hmm. We are not done yet. Lurko is still consul. Precisely. We can't afford to underestimate our opponent at this stage. Wise words, Sinaros. We should be careful indeed. Kikoro and I will meet you in the Senate tomorrow morning to prepare for the trial. Speak as if your life depends on it. In many ways it may. And how are you not going to discuss with me what we're going to do tomorrow? We'll reach tomorrow and then decide how does that even work? Oh, Kaizo's here it too. It is a good day, my friend. Hmm. What if the Senate favors Lurko? They won't. The Senate is a virtuous and wise institution. They'll see the truth of the matter. Any particular reason for your cheerful demeanor? I've been thinking. You've done the right thing by not crossing the Rubicon with the Legion. Well, I was tempted, but a good friend of mine brought me back to my senses. It's the right choice. You'll see. 
This Calida and the rest of the guard. Calida was a bit preoccupied. She's concerned about Corvinus. You know that sneaky bastard is still unaccounted for. Well, do you think Cicero's help will be enough? Cicero is probably the best Cicero. advocate in the Republic, and he's the consul. But what do I know? I'm just a soldier. Hmm. Trust your brothers in arms. Besides, Cato is as much a soldier as any of us. I hope you're right. Vale. What's on your mind? Hmm. What do you think Lurko will do when he loses? No, actually, do you think we will succeed? Your cause is just, and I believe we can convince the Senate. However, our opponent is devious. That worries me. Is it even possible to win a trial against your sitting consul? If it were not, our Republic would be doomed. Those with the greatest power must be under the most exacting scrutiny. But to answer the question in the spirit I think it was asked, we have Kikoro on our side, the second consul. This sort of situation is precisely why there are two. What do you think Lurko will do when he loses? I worry that he will not obey the will of the Senate if the result fails to be in his favor. Will you obey the Senate if you lose? Hmm. If, of course I will. No, if the Senate sides with Lurko, they are as corrupt as he is. Perhaps. But you cannot be the judge of that. Hmm. I'll see you later, Senate. Mother! You look concerned. We are so close to avenging father's death. That monster tore my family apart. Killed my husband and my... My dearest friend. I just hope they make him suffer. What if I lose? What will happen to you then? Children should never have to worry about their parents. Worry only about yourself. I'll be fine. Well then, take care of yourself, mother. Sinaroth! You should get some rest. Tomorrow's trial will require you to have your wits about you. Hmm. I just want to tell you how glad I am to have you by my side. It was not only my duty, but my pleasure as well. Your father made me promise to take care of you, no matter what. Looking at you now, I can only feel pride. I just wish your father were alive to see these days. You are well versed in politics. Be honest now. Do you think we will win? Those who try to predict the future will only make a laughing stock of themselves. Those who are prepared for all eventualities win in the end. Let's talk later then. Alright. Let's get out of here and attend the council meeting. We have a magnific magnificent large villa. Here it is. Yeah, I'm guessing uh, some sort of fight will occur. I don't know. It, it may just be uh, me and my companions against the enemy legion. I don't know actually. But just words and no fight. We might will be... have order in the Senate now. Debating the clarity of the augury will not be productive. The Consul himself stands accused. Nothing could be of higher importance. Any other relationes shall be set aside. The result of this relatio again shall be decided per discessionum, and before the sun sets. You may continue, Consul, but please refrain from delving deeper into matters completely unrelated to our discussion. Naturally. May I restate the necessity of using my actual title, Dictator, instead of Consul? But you're not Dictator anymore, are you? Do you even know what Dictator in Perpetuo means? The Legatus has a point. Your title was granted for a limited time in order to solve a crisis. Even though the time has not passed, we can certainly say the crisis exists no more. I beg to differ. The crisis has evidently not passed. It has merely changed context. Allow my colleague Senator Antonius to display with clarity how unprecedented and absurd this relatio is. Mm, dear Senators, 
First, let us consider the source and the spirit of the regulation that allows us to appoint a consul to the position of dictator. So he's basically, yeah, interminable speech later. And yet, despite all this, we somehow ended up here accusing the very man who was tasked with the prevention of this crisis. Thank you, Senator, for this detailed and above all long explanation of something we all knew. Our memories have been thoroughly refreshed. If that will be all, we will finally discuss the evidence presented against the Consul. Let us consider the preponderance of indications suggesting your involvement in the Mithridates affair years ago. At the time, you claimed to have no knowledge of your brother's corrupt and treasonous activities. But it is clear now that this wasn't entirely accurate. I do not like what you're insinuating. My brother died for his crimes, if you remember. Do you mean to say that he was wrongly accused? Hmm. We mean to say you have murdered your brother without trial to exonerate yourself. And then the Senate simply agreed with my unlawful miscarriage of justice? I find this offensive, both to the memory of my late brother and to the august institution of this Senate. As it represents the will of the people, the Senate is quite obviously incapable of making mistakes. Thank you. But you did execute your own brother without waiting for due process. Just as his guilt wasn't for you to establish, his punishment wasn't for you to carry out. Do you have a counter-witness, Dictator? I am the most important counter-witness here. Let me tell you my side of the story. Few hours later, okay. Therefore, you cannot connect my activities to that war. In fact, it is fair to say my alleged relationship with Mithridates was only in the service of Rome. Somehow, fair wasn't the word that came to mind. Shall we perhaps talk about the infamous invasion of Egypt? Infamous is the correct word for it. The Legatus ignited a war in a land that was already a province of Rome. He brought chaos and terror to Africa. The following unlawful invasion of Egypt caused the extinction of the Ptolemaic dynasty. All in service of unrealistic political ambitions. What plunged Africa into chaos was the murder of Proconsul Licinius Lucullus. That was certainly a tragedy. But the Senate knows that was Ptolemy's doing. Indeed, that was the justification for declaring war in the first place. I don't think either of you has any evidence to back these claims. This has happened before, Senators. The selfish enemies of our people supporting our foes by undermining honorable people like Vitellius Lorco. I will recount the story for the benefit of the Senate. Uh, Ugh, must you? A lot of people talking a lot of unnecessary things. So this is exactly what happens in the Republic. There are too many people and you allow everyone Once again, this was a completely unnecessary digression. Once more, I must direct your attention to the utter lack of credible witnesses. Neither this legendary ledger nor the fictional accountant who wrote it are anywhere to be seen. Because you killed Then them. explain your presence in Alexandria at the time of the battle. Why would Ptolemy, who at the time was waging war against Rome, be on friendly terms with you? I was trying to clean up the diplomatic mess created by your legatus. I take it you were an ambassador to Egypt at the time. I wasn't. But, in the end, I salvaged the whole campaign. Ptolemy would have easily killed you all. I wonder how you know these things. So Ptolemy had no reason to keep you alive. Yet somehow he did. Very interesting. Let us end by discussing the recent campaign against the barbarians of Gallia. You did kill members of the Dictator's Praetorian Guard, didn't you, Legate? 
It was self-defense. His Praetorian guard attacked mine. Praetor, why would my Praetorian guard attack you? Indeed, why would one Praetorian guard attack another? Enlighten us, dictator. Is that for me to answer? He should answer first. I see. Uh, I see Senator Antonius has something to add. Oh, right. I thank you for this opportunity to talk about the history of foreign leaders being represented at the Senate. First of all... I don't to bugger off, man. Hey, one thing I realize, uh, we haven't come across Anthony. In Once this again, playthrough. thank you for your detailed explanation of this important issue, Senator. Shall it's we nice. finally proceed to decide now? We certainly shall not. The sun has set and a decision was not reached. I believe this relatio is to be declared undecided. Undecided? This, this just cannot be. We can continue tomorrow though. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, a decision has to be reached by sunset. But in light of the overwhelming and damning evidence against the dictator, I believe this relatio deserves a proper decision. We reconvene tomorrow at sunrise for the final decision. This shall give the dictator a fair chance to defend himself. One final time. This session is at an end. Let's wait until everyone has left so we can talk to Kikoro in private. Hmm. Well, we, I mean, I think initially we made a few mistakes, but we did pretty well later on. I admit, I was rooting for you. But you really did defend your case excellently. Tomorrow's hearing will be a formality. You've pretty much won. What you're doing is unexpected, but admirable nevertheless. It seems you're not beyond redemption when it comes to the morality of your actions. However, I want to be certain that you understand the gravity of what you've done. You have murdered the Praetorian Guard of a sitting consul. There may yet be consequences. Their deaths are unfortunate but necessary. I hope the Senate will understand. The Senate is made of men. It is as moral as the people who inhabit the building. I think the risks themselves are irrelevant at this point. The Senate has been convinced of Lurko's guilt. Despite his futile stalling, you've made it clear to everyone that Rotelius Lurko's war in Gallia was nothing but a power grab. He wants to abolish the Republic and call himself Emperor Lurko. But Lurko is rich. Maybe he wants to stall for time to buy off some of the senators. Some of the senators do not possess the virtues required for the position. Immoral men are predictable, though. They tend to follow the winner. I worry about what Lurko might do with the time his lackeys in the Senate have brought him. What is left for him to do? All legal options are exhausted. His legion is disbanded. Even Wixie is finished. And after today... His support in the Senate is gone. Yet he remains at large until tomorrow. His lack of options may just make him desperate. I agree. We must stay vigilant. Perhaps a greater number of witnesses is needed. The consistency of their testimonies is more important than their numbers. The Senate has the right to stop listening to witnesses if their opinion is already formed. I believe it has been. And it is strongly in our favor. What do you have there? Food for the Legatus and his friends. Let me have a taste. It's for the Domini only. My Dominus does not eat anything until I've tasted it. Well, all right then. They're trying mm. to have us poison. Delicious. I wonder. That's odd. I haven't ordered any food to be brought here. There is no eating in the Senate. Sinorus, spit it out. Oh, excuse me. I... I feel dizzy all of a sudden. There is an odd taste to this food. Sit down, if you feel unwell. I... can't... Shit! Sinorus is dying! <clears throat> Just because I wouldn't go to war, I'm losing my father figure. Well, it's pretty evident war is the best way forward in this game. Imagine just because of my inability to go to war, 
He's dead. Food was poisoned. Where did that sewer go? We must get him to a physician immediately. Stay with him. I'll get help. Armed men have entered the forum. We brought your weapons. Oh man. He's dead. Lurko. I shall skin your back and lay you on salt. I shall feed your cock to street dogs. Marlon! Grieve later, Bestia! They're here! Okay, so we've got weapons but no armor. This is not a good sign. Dang it! This is what... So, so this is, this is uh, the game very clearly telling us it matters of principle will just get you dead. If it means that Rome must burn so that my friend survives, so be it. Alan, still alive. Make sure no one escapes. All right. I'm not going to hit the ones in front. Wherever we can, we should aim for the guys at the back. Is that understood? We're gonna charge at this fool. Do we have a sword charge on any of us, please? Yes, we do. I hope he's reach. No, he's not gonna be able to reach. Your charge, yes, we can reach for however. Yeah. Boom! 13 damage, not bad at all. Alright, let's see. You can reach there, but reaching there is going to be difficult. I think we should try and knock people down though. There's a better logical way to move ahead. Can we reach anybody else? We can attempt to reach that dude but we would fail. You know what? Let's go ahead and cut him down. One person dead is still better. Overpower this fool, please, Kaizo. His head got chopped off. Okay, I'm gonna go to that angle. Let's see. Beastie, I really wish you reach. No, you can't. Dang it. Okay, then uh, move up and challenge somebody to a duel, please. Probably this guy. We should end him quick and easy. Julia, my Julia. Probably the best thing for you. No, I'm not going to do a interrupt. I would rather do an assisting strike if possible. We could do from shoot from one of the sides. Let's go do an assisting strike on this fool. Can we move it more? No, we can't. I wish we could have reached that dude. Assisting strike it is. Two, three glancing, huh? This Triaris is really strong. Okay. Okay. Let's throw caltrops. Have them wade through shit to reach us. Oh, we should have rally eagle standard. Dang it. Trap trigger at least. And I hate that this dude is gonna have fun moving all the way around. Who is this? Is this Kato? Oh, he's weakened them and 
deal with them. Damn, this dude is running. So, Marcus Kikero. Oh, Kikero healed me. No, he didn't really heal me up. Okay, reaching there would mean we get hit once. You know what we could do though? We were cutting slash and move so that we take that hit on our shield and then we can do a sneak attack please 24 to 33 you know what activate cheap shot please and then do that sneak attack still remaining with some health but we can always shiv him that's it he's done for then all three of us move up and try and see if we can get a Actually, if four of us can go get that assisting strike, that's still going to be worth it. Assisting strike from point blank, please. Come on, no when to quit. Good, he's dead. All right then. A nice thrust, please, to break his shield. Ten to thirteen. Good, it's down. Actually, she can. Oh, damn. I didn't spot that. My bad. Overpower, please. Or maybe even... Headbutt. Stunned. He stunned. That's amazing. This is going up according to plan. Took off cripple shield is oh, still bleeding, but that's okay. Put him on fire. Trust at him. We got the last dude. This is very easy. Corvinus, that honorless piece of shit. He got away. Your mother is alone. We must hurry. Knowing Corvinus, he will either go there next or he'll send someone for her. We must be careful. It's probably a trap. He will try to take hostages though. Meet us in the Regia when your family is safe. Our dear Pontifex, Maximus Aurelius Cotta, will be good to have on our side. <laughs> we have basically already won. This attack represents a clear legal victory. Marcus, this is not the time. Well, Kato is definitely more sensible than Kikiro. Okay, we've got some items. Could we equip these? Hey, don't tell me we could have equipped all of this even before. Queen's Warden, please. Kenturio Galia. Quintus. Take these. Traitor's mail was on Bestia. Where are all the good items? Lock of those scales. Mark of Mark Ellis. Oh, the Python skill, huh? No, not really. I don't need it right now. Okay, Julia. Hey, where is her ear? Ranger Hamata. Principe, you need free armor item. Oh, he's dead, isn't he? You don't need to think about what Sinorus will wear. That's really sad, though, I must say. Please excuse me a second. Amount of useless calls I get is infinite. Kaizos, this thing is currently not there, so let's take the banner of Jupiter and let's also take some pylum. Greek fire on you. You've got smoke bomb and pylum. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Three armor, three armor, okay, nothing can be done about that then. Let's wear some of these headdresses. I 
actually how much is this all resistance is 11 right but these things are more so take this do you even have the frightened skill no you don't you know what mm, do you have the frightened skill no you don't i think it's only us I'm gonna take this where Marcellus's mask give this to her just in case we intend to use it. Okay, we don't have backup weapons, I believe. No, we do. We do. So we have our weapons with us, at least that's one positive thing. Alright, let's look at the skills. Since we're already here, you know what? Let's take War Cry. This is really strong. Opportunist, please. Reaper, yes. Every time character kills an enemy, their action point is replenished. All use skills are reset. Movement is fully restored. If I have to remove something, but I use all of these. Skill on ground, yes. Skill on ground I never literally use. So Reaper can only be used once. Which is kind of sad. Well, let's take Versatile. Just in case somebody gets up close and we need to kill them. Mm. Well, let's take Warcry double. Warcry is really strong. Make sure our mother is okay. So Lurko the bugger has uh, no qualms resolve, resolving to violence. Resorting to violence and that's exactly what he's done. We have to figure out a way that we can uh, take him out. Short arrows. The guards were attacked from afar. We may be too late. They killed everyone. The villa is burning! How many are there? Most of them already left. There are still four in the garden. Where's my mother? She sought shelter in the study, just like... like last time. Clean yourselves up. We'll take care of this. Should I inform the authorities? We are the authorities. Just get out of here. Thank you, Domine. May your swords be swift as Jupiter's lightning. Well, you can't do jack shit now. He's literally, I think, killed our mother too. Set our home afire. All this because we didn't go to war. We didn't march our armies right into Rome. What a sight. How long do you think it'll take to burn down? It'll burn long into the night. That's for sure. Should we be worried about it spreading to the adjacent buildings? Nah, that's not our problem. I'm more concerned about the proprietor showing up to put out the fire. That posh prick already lies dead on the Senate floor. Stand down, Thug. On whose orders are you carrying out the search? On the orders of Consul Vivius Vitellius Lurko. You are all under arrest. Indeed. And what are we accused of? You're accused of murder and treason. Your sentence is death. Since when do mere lictors have the power to sentence a Roman citizen to death? Do not make this more difficult than it needs to be. Oh, don't worry. This won't be difficult for me at all. Down with their heads. Oh, it wasn't even a fight. These guys just boom! In a week, we've conquered three continents. We really caught those thugs off guard. If they expected mercy, they should not have started fire here. Exactly. Your mother is trapped in there. We have to get her out. Use the water from the fountain to douse the flames. Really? This is what we're going to be doing. Reach your mother. Claudinia must not die. Reduce fire to twenty hexes to extinguish it. 30 hexes must be put out. 
okay prevent fire from inferno from consuming the villa okay so this is right down the middle i don't see as such okay there's some fire here there's also some fire here so these areas are going to be difficult to reach all right let's uh, divide our people there's an oil barrel there we definitely don't want the fire reaching there so what we're going to do is uh, few of us are going to go towards that side some of you catch this side and i'm going to be right up front so i think we should be focusing on the front three people no actually two people on the front one to the side or maybe even you know one to these sides and the other is down this way and really the highlight is we are fighting fire if we very uh, mindful about how far we can throw these things oh damn we should have thrown it further in that was a bad pro anyway not too bad of a situation what do you mean can't reach target all right let's see most effective throw is this way good now let's pick up another jug all right next throw how far can we throw Yep, this is the best throw for it. Pick up another, please. For this throw, we shall try and uh, I think this might be the best. Pretty decent, not bad. Oh, there is quite a bit of flames here too. I didn't even spot this one. And what do you know? We can't even see those flames there. So then, let's just throw it here for now. And pick up some more. And once we've picked up more, wow, this is a damned raging inferno here. We really have to push ahead, or is that too ahead? You know what? We can probably even throw it from somewhere. I think we should be able to better position to throw it from here. Bestia. I think it's better to hold Bestia here to put this out and then move ahead. Okay. Do you have a second jug? Well then it's time we push forward. Let's get as close as possible to the fire. Even us. All right. And turn please. Please, is anyone still alive? <laughs> Don't worry mother, we are coming. I'm coming right down the middle. Okay, let's see. One jug of water. this way you know what i think I'm, i should rush and take her out of this before we do anything else all right this is solved head back no tactical item slots available you got to be kidding we just threw Oh dang it we don't even need to come back how is that even possible good throw good throw no not a good throw we missed a spot i see this this what the hell just happened okay then okay then Oh 
we did we did just throw water here why can't we go back and pick up more is beyond me but hey man i'm not gonna complain this is still showing it's there so very well probably we can pick it up twice maybe you know there's something we did wrong let's put out the fires closest to us first You're always missing these and this is not, that's not good. Typhon up more please. Water jet collected. You can't throw it again though. Throw your jug, get back then. Alright, ending turn please. Mother, I'm coming. Just hold on. You know what, I'm going to throw this here for the time being, pick up more and head down to the side. Please extinguish, go back, pick up more, this was, this was badly done work, oh damn we don't have I don't understand how this keeps happening to me. Can we extinguish it all in one go? I don't think so. Okay. Julia! My god, this inferno is really raging over here! Run back, Julia. Okay, we're going for mother. Is getting in would solve it? Oh, thank Juno. Please, uh, get me out of here. You know, mother, you're gonna have to pick up some water jars and help us too. Cannot reach target? Why? You can easily reach target. Let's see if we can. Mother, hugger. We can't. So probably these water jugs are not meant to be used, who knows. But mother, as soon as you're out, I really expect you to start helping. Okay, that fire is spreading. Siphon some water, please. We've got a jug in our hands. There is some flame there, so let's effectively get this area down. Good. Water barrel. We've got... Okay, let's see. We have to see which ones, which fires we can uh, very definitely put out. Probably this is the best. Please, fire, go away. No, just one spot still remaining. Okay, I'm going to try and rush back. Mother, have you picked up water? Yes, she has. Julia has too. Mother, where could you throw it? Well, these are all useless spots, so no. Alright, we're going to try and get uh, one area down. I'm going to be focusing on the left. Okay, pre pretty decent throw I would say. We have to rush all the way back. And I wish these water jugs would really help. 87 of 400. Escape your burning villa. Well, I would like to save my villa. I mean, logically, I, I know it's a game and I'm not going to lose much, but I mean, if in this situation, once we've saved our mother, next thing you do is save your villa. Why? Because, hey man, you, you've built this villa from the ground up. And this is your family's uh, ownership. This is the last 
remembrance of your father. Pick up that water jug, please. Fire is raging. Okay, let's see. Now that there are more of us, we can effectively work together. Mother, move up. And I want proper throws, please, mother. Let's see how good you are now. That was a very good throw. You, you managed to do a lot. I'm impressed, mother. Alright, Julia. Amaze us. I think we're going to need one more throw there. I've taken out the farther end of the fire. So we can... Uh... Dang it. Can we see that? Actually, we can. Can't see target. Yes, we could do it from here. Ah, what a strategic throw. This is what I call a good job. Okay, there is one bit of fire on that end. If you don't want it to spread, we should throw something. Yeah. That worked. Surprisingly. Alright, next I'm going to try it on this flank. Actually, how far can we throw? Holy, look at this inferno here. Okay, this is the best throw we can get. This is the best throw we are going to do. Actually, you know what? This does seem like a... Reduce the fire to 20 hexes. 68 hexes must be put out. That's like next to impossible, you know. And this entire area, the fire is really spreading. Is this like a fool's errand by any chance? I'm guessing so, you know. I'm really guessing so. Let's then just try and uh, get the fire down from that side. See, look at the damn thing spreading. Not bad at all. You know what, I think it's better for us if we target one area at a time Kaizo show us that throwing arm of yours can't see the target you've got to be what's the best way to see this Well, I think this will be the best throw. Okay, I think one more throw and this area should be safe. Maybe mother can very easily handle that. Mother, it's time to save your own house. Kaizo has no more points to run back. Okay, we're going to throw this here. Okay, fire is controlled at this edge. Julia, actually it's time I took the lead.
Okay. Which would be the best throw? I think this. Good throw. Got a large area saved. Okay, now considering that... Uh, I think it's better if we work together instead of in different directions. Well, beach there, this area is down. We'll have to go... We'll start pushing up the left flank a bit. Let the fire consume the middle. Move right ahead, please, Julia. Oh, this is so difficult, you know. Can't move anymore. There's no point throwing it. Or is there? I think there is, you know. This is a pretty good area to throw. Alright, Daniel, get back. Take the next jug. You're gonna pick up two. Alright, Julia. Lead the way. You throw it. What's a good throw? I think this is the best throw we can afford. Push back this fire, please. And come back for more. We will make two teams of three each. Three of us are fighting this side. Why don't you people go approach the other side? Like you guys could probably, Mother, Bishtia and Kaizo could probably take the left flank, I mean the center. Better. What's the best way? If throwing this here would not solve this fire, but this one would definitely end this, so I'm going to do with that. Problem is that we can't even reach back. Okay, mother, where are you? Pretty far back, huh? Kaizo! We don't even have spots to run back. Water jugs. Hey, could we have cut that down? Pick up a water jug. Oh, nice. Throw the damn thing. Nice, nice. Julia, my Julia. Push back this fire. Oh, sorry, this is Dianera. Well, no matter, even she is very close to us. Alright, we've extinguished all the water jumps here. We should be able to get this area pretty easily under control, I am guessing. There are few dead bodies in here. I hope these are of my survey and no one else. Well, this is going well. I just wish there were more water jugs. I think there are. There are more water jugs somewhere here. I did see them. The water jug here. Solid throw, Bestia. Good job. Probably going for this water jug might be the best, but you know, for some reason it's just continuously showing no. Uh, can't reach the target on that. This entire area is completely.
Okay, prevent the inferno. We are doing a pretty decent job, I, I would say. And that entire side is safe. Why don't you guys focus on that side? We shall try and move up this side and uh, get this down. Julia, could you rush back? No. Maybe we could run up here. Julia could probably reach and use that water jug. Who knows? I mean, this definitely no water jugs remain. Reach there. Please. Reach this target. This is if this is a glitch, it's a bad glitch. See, can't reach target. It's a very sad and unfortunate glitch. Alright mother. You're the most nimblest of us all. I think Kaizo may be the worst. Alright Kaizo. You know what we could do oh we can't change our equipment otherwise that was a very viable solution unequip all our items from Kaizo rush back Julia I wish uh, you know I could use one or two characters to do more of the running and they could come and transfer it to the others that would have been pretty pretty convenient Okay, we've got to see which are the best ways. Most effective ways. If I want that gone, I would definitely have to throw here. I don't really have an option. Alright, I'm running back. Dianera, do your best. This would be the best second throw. Okay. We're really going to have to suffer because of these. Look at that, this fire is back again. Come on, mother. A good throw, please. But this is not the best of throws, but... This might be the best option that we have. So now the problem is we are going two at a time I mean it's literally taking us three turns to go up and down and throw jugs Throw the damn thing! What? What did I do? Oh, actually I, I think that was for the best, so... I think mother has the greatest amount of rage right now. Vistia, you've got to run more! This dang fire just keeps on spreading. Okay, I think we could block off one edge. What the hell? Why would you...
ओके वन साइड इज डाउन स्टिल गुड लेट्स सी हाउ मच कुड वी डू डैमेज कंट्रोल ऑन दिस साइड इट सीम लाइक अ प्रॉपर थ्रो यू नो आई थिंक कमिंग बैक ओली जूलिया शुड कम बैक एंड एवरीबडी एल्स शुड प्रॉब्लम पुश अप दिस साइड Julia just by you coming back i think this would be solved Okay i'm going to first aim for this area probably because this area is burning we can't use the jugs i don't know just a uh, rough uh guess run like the wind hulia i mean having that uh, water barrel there made a huge difference and we throw yes we could here we go this area is completely down and dusty i mean this team is doing much better work mother i'm gaining ahead i'm more efficient in this oof look at the fire here i think we should go for this area first no we couldn't throw there Okay let's start from the edges always definitely need the edges Mother beautiful throw please Come on, Bishya! I'm counting on you. You've got a good throwing arm, I know. We should end this fire. Oh yes, that felt so satisfying. No, we still can't reach this damn water jug. What use is it? We have a jug of water in our hands. We'll rush right to the end. The Nera has also picked up one. Julia. rush back okay danera would it be worth throwing it here actually no you know every hex counts i guess oh Look at how this area is just increased. I have no other choice. But now at least all of us are going to be working on one direction. So that's positive. Hey wait, could you throw up from there? No. Uh, can't see target, huh? I understand. Oh, this team has to rush all the way back. They are mighty slow. Run, mother, run! Beast, I've almost forgotten about you. Okay. The damn fire just keeps spreading.
What's the best throw we can get? This we got it. All right, time to rush back. Julia, come on, show me your magic. Always go for the edges. Yeah, you've got a lot of running up to do. My man Kaizo. Is this the best throw for you? Wait, how does Julia still have one more? Kaizo, can you throw at that spot? No? Well then, Julia, yours it is. Oh, she already has a water jug, probably. We are needlessly uh, making her go up and down. Mother! Fast! Good throw, mother. Dianera, move up, but don't get burned, please. This is the only one request I have. Okay, we would need to throw it here. Yeah. Unspent skill point, that's okay. See, she did get burnt. Look at that, the fire is seeping in. Well then I have no other option but to go So for some reason this area is continuously getting all the more fired up Well that is a very good throw Julia But now we are going to need somebody to extinguish you from fire So go Stand next to that fire. I should throw a jug really close to you. Don't worry. Kaizo is a very stable person. He knows what he's doing. So for some reason, this area is continuously fire is spreading from this side. So until unless we put that part out, that area is not going to get solved. All this armor is really weighing me down. Oh, mother can really again come back. She's got amazing distance. Look at that. This shit spreading here. What? Now, for some reason, you don't have it? You've got to be kidding me, This it's like magic. Times you do, sometimes you don't. What the hell? Let's see. 
Oh my god, this area is raging inferno! We're gonna have to push back the fire from these sides. Otherwise, there's no way we, sh we should attempt to put down this. Going really close to fire. It's kind of hot, and I don't have anything in my hand. I'm just moving around needlessly. You've got to be kidding me! What am I doing? All right, all right. Let's uh, keep our calm. Men, do not panic. We faced worse adversaries. Crusader Kings Three. Hi, Ubi Karun, Ubi Kant. And I'm really sorry, I can't pronounce that uh, last name. We can't uh, Crusader Kings 3. And I do find that there's very less action and more of strategic thinking. And the vast number of characters. I mean, I kind of get confused after a point of time, to be very honest. See, now it shows that I have a water jug. Who knows what's going on. But yeah, that's a good suggestion. You know, we can't. I might actually try it out. So I'm going to wait with that water jug till I can move up ahead here and throw this entire thing get this entire area down oh resisted burning got to get the back line secure only and only then should we attempt this area mother I need a proper throw please this is a good good Oh, there's still some amount of small fire there. Resisted burning. Well, I'm really strong, you know. But we're still on fire. I don't know what happened. Julia. Can't move from there. Banera is coming up. I'm on fire. This is unfortunate. Okay. Resisted burning. Look at that. That fire is like continuously just spreading. The fire down this way is very, very strong. You know what, we should coordinate so that we all go and come together. Probably that might be the best way, who knows. Okay, for lack of a better option. You have a water jug. Run, woman. You have a water jug. Pick it up. And go. You have a water jug. Rush. Okay, beach tears. Movement points really seem very low for some reason. This area is like continuously just spreading. Can't even open that damn thing. You know what? I think I'm going to try and push up. Let's see if we can somehow... I mean, this area is like a proper inferno, you know? Like no matter what we do, we are not being able to douse those flames. Let's 
Holy. Okay. Okay. Skill charge restored. I don't know what that. Okay, so she's got this back. Okay, so this happens once in a while. Not always. She can afford to stand here and have others quickly reach her. Mother, how far can you reach? Well, I would like to go for this area first, considering most of the fire is spreading from there. So this throw is going to go here. Mother, rush back please. Who's on the other hand? I'm going to rush forward. Pick up more Dianera and run back please. Alright, both of you. Damn, look at this fire just creeping in. I think we have to keep this area. Skill charge restored again so she can stay here I guess. I don't know why it's happening but it's happening so I'm not going to complain. Okay. Let's move up here. Throw a damn jug. Pretty decent throw if I might add. Vishtya, since you're anyway here, you're going to put out the back lines of this fire. Yes, that's more like it. Now run back. So then this area is... Uh, Isolated and extinguished. Job well done, I say. The three of us are going to run back. All the two of you push forward. Julia is already at a very strong position. Oh, we've done it. Woo. We did it. The fire is put out. We saved our access to home. Let's check on your mother. She's fine. She was helping us. Everyone's dead. They had no mercy. They butchered the Serwi. They were here to kill you. Did you think they struck her by accident in passing? Kalida. Perhaps they were trying to incapacitate her. Or maybe they were merely incompetent. Does it matter? It gives us the upper hand legally. I think Lurko is really trying to eliminate every single person who can expose him. He's keeping us on the defensive. We need to regroup and strike back. Are you alright, mother? Is that your blood? Oh, I am bleeding. You She's a help. strong woman. Get it to a physician. Let us not lose valuable time. We need to find an apothecary for mother. Apothecary. Strike sorry. two birds with one stone and take her to the regia. Kato and Kikro are waiting for you there, and the Vestal Virgins can treat Claudiana. Makes sense. Let's go. Okay, that fire, is it still raging? I can hear the sound, but I don't see anything. So, I guess it's not. I don't know why, but we have to travel all the way back, and I wonder what these are. Like, are these coin purses or something? Or can we pick them up? Let's try. Oh, we can, but these are all useless items, so no, I'm not going to waste my time. And by the way, it's anyway the end of this uh, game. So there's no point actually trying to collect money anymore. Regia, please. Time to get caught on our side. You know, considering that we are such a target, we should have more guards in our ancestral home.
seek refuge. Really? Don't tell me this area is already. No, no, it's safe. You are alive. Lurko tried to kill us, but his attempt was pathetic. Indeed, he has failed for now, but that only raises the stakes. I could not believe my ears when Kato told me about Lurko's betrayal. This shall not go unpunished. Do you think we have enough evidence to condemn him now? We will need to come up with a very good reason for doing this. I'd like to see him try. Let us make sure my mother remains safe. I shall keep her in the temple. No harm will come to her. You have my word. Thank you, Kota. Of course. It was Corvinus, Lurko's lab dog. Sadly, he escaped. What if he comes back for us? I don't believe anyone close to you is safe. Corvinus is slippery but persistent. By the will of the gods, we'll be ready for him now. Your faith is inspiring. We need to seize the initiative. Corvinus can't be too far away. As long as he's in the wind, we can't be safe. Kalida can find him, I'm sure. Maybe, but it'll take some time, and we don't have much to spare. I know where he is. Maybe I can ask some of my friends in the Senate. Lyurko must have allies, and perhaps some of them know a few things. Highly unlikely. Chances are not even Lyurko knows where that man is. I know where he is. An augury might reveal his location. Will we set a chicken loose in the streets of Rome and hope that it guides us to him? Hardly. I know where he is! Will you all just listen to the man? All right. There's no need to yell. He is a Campus Martius hiding with a group of gladiators he has hired. We can go there and get him. Let us go, but keep in mind, I want him alive. He killed my Magister. I will make no promises. Find Corvinus in the field of Mars, okay. But you know, I, I am I, I simply can't uh, process the fact that uh, Cineros is dead. That dog. Okay, it's just the five of us again. Here he is. Sorry. Lucius Erucius Corvinus. We are here. Come out and play. The entire ensemble is here. I guess you're ready for the final act. I know these guys are really slippery. I'm impressed. I did not expect you to be able to find this place. Gladiators! By aiding this man, you are making yourselves accomplished to murder, corruption and treason. Do you believe a man such as he will work to have you exonerated? Of course not. He will leave you to take the fall. What good will his dinari do you when you are strangled to death for his crimes? Pay no heed to his words. We work for the consul himself. Vitellius Lurko will ensure that no punishment of any kind will befall us. We will tear that weasel limb from limb. Then there will be no one to protect you from the law. I remember you, Tabat. We fought lions together in the arena. Bestia Tabat. Now, no amount of Denari will make me fight you. You're on your own, Corvinus. Okay, just a couple of dudes ran away, but that's about it. Alright, well, let's see. Yes, as before, there are a couple of dudes here. Julia, do you have a fire arrow? No, you don't, so it's impossible for us to set that area on fire. Though with some Greek fire, I think we might be able to do. You know what, Bistia, then? It's your job to set that fire off and keep those dudes occupied at the back. Pick up a couple of javelins from there, too. Julia will have to go up and overwatch. Probably our best bet is to kill everyone quick. There's an oil barrel here. 
is a really dangerous stuff. We've got oil jars, there's nothing to actually throw them in fire. Alright, we're gonna be pushing up from this side. I think one person is needed. Alright, let's go. Okay, Bestia. Head up there. Alright, I'm gonna go alone down this way. I'm gonna brace up. Throw the damn old crap. Okay, we can throw it from here. Good Greek fire to set everything on fire. You think so, Bistia, but there's an oil barrel right here. Could very well be us next. Okay, let's see. One person can attack this fool. Or maybe we could go and war cry up for both of them. Would it even be worth it? I don't think so. Maybe let's go and stun this guy and move ahead there for an attack. Shield crash, no. Let's do a headbutt. Six to seven is still they always underestimate me. Oh, we can. This guy is protecting, I guess. But how did both of them get the shot? I don't know. I don't know what happened. You know what? While we are here, pick up an oil jar. Who knows? We might put it to some use. Wait, this guy didn't get weakened. Why? Okay, I'm going to throw this oil jar here whatever good it may do at least these guys will be unsteady oh no we should have thrown the pylum into this guy damn it that was a mistake okay our shield can take it so i'm going to do a cutting slash hopefully both of them will die 12 to 13 please yes this is just one health is surely going to go down all right julia a lot of unarmored dudes there so probably as long as you don't get on fire the best thing would be to actively interrupt these dudes here this dude has bled out these dudes are burning that dude got back his shield that's not good for me Oh, he's marking and he's going to shoot. Dang it, that is never good. She's also bleeding. I hope somebody there has a bandage. Come on this way, friend. Ah. Alright, that dude got it. I really wish this dude had, though. Burned and burning, huh? Who's with me? Let's get them. All right, they're blocking that spot. Shook off burning. Is there some way we could get that area on fire? Nobody here has bandages. We have bandages, but you can't target yourself. How about you, dudes? When if you have bandages, no, nobody has bandages. This is very risky position we are in. All right, my man, well, eh? We could somehow get this dude down. Action point restored, right? How could we? There's no torch also that we could put something on fire. Whether I really need a kill here. Keep shot activated. A beautiful sneak attack please. 
How is you still alive? Disarm him and shoot him. <laughs> you really give it our all, huh? Okay, I'm gonna move up ahead and do an overpowering strike on this fool. Not bad. I have one chance so I can go take this dude down. Get back my action. Crushed at him, please. Got back an action point? No? Let's do a spear charge, please. Not enough movement points. You've got to be kidding me, right? Anyway, this guy's gonna die. So I'm not too bothered. I would rather use this to move up. Oh, here he is, that Dan Corvinus. Now I can do a beautiful assisting strike. Took some damage, that's not bad. Or right, let's see, I need this guy's shield gone. Expose him, please. I really need a kill here. Good man. Got back that point. We should move up to this dude. Probably knock him down. 100% chance of success, right? Go for it. You can go and nicely flank him too so that he gets broken pretty cool. I mean, pretty easily. File him to break his shield, target is in cover, dang it. Oh, this dude is still here. Oh, he's stunned. That's because of attacks of opportunity, huh? That's amazing, I tell you. This fight is easier. Shukov burned. Okay, let's see. He's bleeding, but there's nothing we can do about it, unfortunately. Well, cutting slash it is. And overpower, please. That dude is dead. No, I don't want it burned. Oh, from the back, we could just kill him, huh? Right, let's see, is there any way I could move you somewhere? Mm. You know what? Shit, we don't have the war cry equipped. Knocked down. Would that work? 80% chance of success. Bull rush would guarantee work, so we would get him down here. Well, he's knocked down. I'm gonna move up and overpower him. He's flanked too. Disarm him too while we are at it. Alright, Julia. A beautiful assisting strike, please. Hardly any damage, huh? Even though all resistances are zero. Look at that, we are practically doing minimum damage to this guy. Nope, I like this spot. Alright, Julia. Last uh, assisting strike. No, still not dead, huh? Overpower, please. Crushed at him. My god, he's still alive. Cutting slash. Knocked down, 100% chance of success. He shouldn't be creating problems for us. A pile him into his face. Zero damage, two shredded, 
not bad, not bad. One more, please. It's over then. Typical. The dude is finally dead. Just end this fool now. I'm so glad that the cutting slashes are don't have uh, friendly damage. I will skin your face and drink from your skull. A charming notion, but improbable. May I propose a different option? There are no options. You will die now. Or we can be sensible about this and keep him alive. He probably knows a lot about Lord Ko's plans. Besides, Corwinus is a capable and smart warrior. He'd be useful to us. Have patience, Bestia. You can do whatever you want to him after we question him. Killing him will serve no purpose. It will bring me great satisfaction. We shall question him just in case. But I think, you know what, bring him to my villa. Luko's wings are clipped now, but still, be careful. Finally. We can stop watching our backs. Corwinus, you are under arrest for the attempted murder of this man and the actual murder of his service. You're coming with us. Is there much point looting these bodies now? But anyway, as our people are slowly winding their way back, so the other time I played this, I had taken Team B to fight Corvinus and it was a really difficult fight because that dude kept moving around. But with this team, we had all the abilities needed to effectively, you know, entrap him and neutralize him. Why are we going back to our villa? That place was burning. We should go where there are other people too, like uh, where we left our mother. With Kota there and others there, we could have Corvinus uh, tell the truth and expose Lu Ko in front of pro prominent members of the Senate. That is the more logical thing to do. And who knows? The next day. Okay. Ah, so glad our villa is still standing. I think if we hadn't saved the villa, everything would be burning over here. Well, Bestia is in here. Corvinus might still live. Corvinus is inside. Any word from Luko? The Consul has announced that he wants to question this criminal himself, so I expect him to send some of his lictors our way. We are prepared for them. Hmm. An attack is most probable. Stay alert. Always. Do you think he's ready to talk? His attitude has become quite a bit more cooperative overnight. He will talk if he survives, meaning if we can restrain Bestia. Keep him away from Corvinus. We need that guy alive. I understand. That will not be a problem. I've sent him away. He's probably drowning his sorrows in wine now. Let's go in. I'm not sure we can make him talk, but at least Kalida speaks his language. She was supposed to be here. I don't know what she's doing. We better make sure she's alright. Go find her. At once. Dianera. Everything is silent. It's too quiet. I don't like it. He whimpers like a wounded dog. But silence is in the air. Do you think he deserves to die? He is evil. Does not matter if he dies. He deserves eternal torment. Well, I'll talk to him now. Fine. Well, here we go again. You want to try your hand at torturing me as well? Maybe. That's entirely up to you. Fair enough. I suppose you have some questions. <sighs> Ask then. Let's get this over with. I get the impression you're not the most loyal of Luko's servants. 
I am loyal to my contract. Besides, all of his loyal guards are dead, thanks to you. If I have to choose between loyalty and death, I don't have to ponder my options for long. Would you work for me if I pay you more than Lurko? It's not just money. Lurko is a very intelligent man and I respect that. He plans ahead and he rarely leaves things to chance. Hmm. Did he plan for us to secure evidence of all his crimes? It is the first serious misstep I have ever seen him make. You have got him powerfully rattled. That's why he will never face you in the Senate. That's why he sent me to assassinate you at last. I know. You are the one who tried to kill me, huh? Not out of any personal animosity. With Marcellus and his useless brutes gone, it was up to me to finish the job. And killing me wasn't enough. Did you really have to wipe out my family? That wasn't me. He hired someone else for that. My job was simply to get rid of you. The Consul obviously hoped you'd get yourself killed in Gallia. I guess this was his contingency plan. You of all people should know that warfare is about positioning. Once you can cover any possible move your foe might make, victory is a natural outcome. Merely by trying to win from such a position, your enemy defeats himself. I do know a thing or two about warfare and this time Luko is out of moves. I would not bet on that. Look, I'm getting bored of this. We both know you're not going to kill me and I've told you all I know. Frankly, none of this is any use to you. For all I know, me getting caught is part of Lurko's plan. So, hand me over to the authorities and let me face charges. I have another idea. What would it take for me to hire you? <laughs> Let's see. What do you have to offer? A steady salary of 500 dinari per annum until you die. And I know you're good for it. Very well. You've got a deal. Dianera, get him patched up and then meet me at the Regia. I will find surgeon to take care of it. See you soon. Okay, we're going to the Regia somehow. Julia is nowhere here. Now, this guy, I've told him I'll uh, pay him if he cooperates, but I'm going to kill him. He killed because of him, Sinorus is dead. This is just so that he gets to open his mouth and uh, confesses Luko and then we kill him. I mean even if it, the game doesn't allow me to do that, this is definitely what I would have done. Did he talk? It was quite helpful, but ultimately he did not reveal anything interesting. That is unfortunate. What do we do now? If the Senate is still in doubt when the trial resumes, this will settle it. By attacking my family, Luke was in. Corvinus would be a good witness if we need it. He must know a lot about Luko's schemes. That could be a benefit of all this, but if you couldn't make him talk... His presence alone ought to unnerve the Consul. Not a bad idea at all. The pressure on Lurko is mounting. Every man has a breaking point. Lurko is certainly doomed, but what if he runs? I took precautions. The Consul of Rome cannot leave the city unnoticed. Hmm. None of my Praetorian guards have arrived. They were supposed to meet me here. I thought they'd be with you. I haven't seen any of your companions since yesterday. That worries me. Come to think of it, Carto wanted to meet us here too. But he's late. Where is he? He should be here any moment now. Don't worry. Carto is a smart man who knows how to handle a gladius. There he is. Your Praetorian guard is captured in front of the Senate. We must hurry. What are they doing in front of the Senate? What? What? How? It seems he has them arrested for a number of crimes. I'll kill that bastard. That would be a grave crime. And yet saving your companions would be noble, despite the cost. 
Is there nothing to be done? I'll try to gather some Pretores. This is blatantly illegal, but I guess he's finally given up all pretense. He is desperate. Be very careful. Desperate men do stupid things. Let us go. I'll come with you to witness the situation. Keep him occupied until I can bring help. Don't antagonize him. I will come with you as well. The Vestal Virgins will look after your mother. Okay, so this is basically now we are going to fight with Kato and uh, Kota. Kato and Kota have joined our ranks. What do you know? I wish I hadn't sent away my people, but I mean, irregardless of wherever we had sent them, they would have all been captured. I mean, this is a very natural or logical uh, twist the game would have taken, path the game would have taken. Luko, you dog! Probably getting behind them is a smart move. If they all die, I Traitor swear. Traitor to the Republic, murderer of Romans, enemy of the people. I have had your co-conspirators arrested, and they are patiently waiting for their moment of execution. But my own patience is wearing thin. I know villains like you do not have a sense of honor or virtue. Nevertheless, I know you were at least born Roman. If you have a speck of honor left, confess and surrender. Consul, what are you doing? You can't publicly execute people without trial. Our laws forbid such despotism. As dictator, prescription is well within my rights. The people of Rome saw fit to grant me that power. Who are you to question the wisdom of the people? I am Scipio Aquilus Ashes Bashes, and you are dictator no more. Stand down and let the Senate resolve this. As long as Rome remains in crisis, I shall remain dictator. Your traitor friends are rightfully apprehended. If you want them, you'll have to go through me. The Senate gave you the title so you can resolve the conflict with Gallia. It is resolved now. It clearly isn't. You are still alive, aren't you? In what twisted way do you think I am the person responsible for this war? You always worked against me, when the only thing I wanted was to build a strong Rome. Just like your father, you are envious of what I will achieve. A strong Rome? Do you realize how many Romans died just because you wanted to be king? Is that your idea of a strong Rome? Great works are built on bloodshed. Sacrifices must be made. Then make your sacrifice yourself, coward. Unless your intention is to bore me to death, I would like to start executing these criminals. This is bullshit. Those people are heroes. They've done nothing wrong. Let them go! You have lost your control, Lurko. Look at the faces of these people. Your fellow citizens. They're afraid. Only criminals and traitors should be afraid of me. They're afraid of what you have turned the Republic into. That fear will turn into anger the moment anyone decides to stand up and protect the Republic. You're a good tactician. Consider your position now. Your prisoners are the only advantage you possess. But they're only valuable while they're still alive. The Legatus can wait until you turn yourself into a murderer. Or we can simply kill you and save them all. Then you will have achieved nothing here. You wouldn't do that. You're men of law and order. I shall grant you your death wish, if it's the only way to save my friends. Do not let us take your vengeance away. Let us die in honor. Believe me, I don't want to die. But I also don't want to see you dead. Don't let him kill us like this. Whatever comes next, we will stand by your side. We will weather the storm as one. Don't do it, my friend. If you strike him down now, you'll give him legitimate cause to kill you. We are not worth that sacrifice. 
I need you by my side. Do not sacrifice yourself for nothing. It's not for nothing. It's for everything. Enough. Make your decision. This is the end for you, Luko. This is where you die. Or oh, you know, this is this is very difficult to choose. They will all get killed, huh? Well, obviously we have to protect our friends. What are you doing? You're giving up the high ground. This is what he wants. You'll be no better than him. Don't listen to Kikoro. The lives of your friends are worth more than your career. Let us end this. Get the victors. Get anyone. Oh, so it's the same position, but now... Okay, our people are... I mean, the civilians are jumping in. Don't let these limp-dick bastards kill us! Well, obviously. But how do I even reach you? Hands bound, we can't do anything, huh? Only three of us can move then. I mean, we literally have to go through all of this. Alright, we're going for the right flank then. Damn. Hardly anything to do. War cry. Wow, Kota has amazing uh... distance. We help. Can you beat that? Concussive strike, please. All right, it's broken. I want to rush towards their back. Banner of Mars is rallying them up, huh? You did exactly what I anticipated, Legate. This is perfect. I highly doubt that. This angry mob seems to be quite a lot more than you bargained for, Lurko. What? They literally hitting bound prisoners. Covered. That's really unfortunate. Look at them, they're just going for Julia. Come on, people. Why are you shooting useless things? They killed him. Okay, these are unnecessary things that they are throwing. Okay, I mean we are fighting with Lurko on the streets in the open. This is so weird. Cut us loose. Come on. You need our help. In what world would this be happening? You know what? I'm gonna knock this bugger down. Actually, let's see. Oh. Now, now you are going to die! Leave some for me, sister. You made a big mistake, friends. 
Let's see how you handle us when we are free and all. Warcry? And probably... How long are these guys stand for just one turn? Missing their action point, huh? Okay. Who could we attack next? Uh, oh, we still have a point. Oh, all, all of them are free. That's nice. That's still good. Let's see if I can... I think we should try and take out these dudes while they are stunned. Bracing strike. Yes, please. I'm gonna put the banner of Mars here. If not now, then never, right? Do we have a death blow? No. Concussive strike. Probably. Get this dude out of the picture while he is low. I'm gonna hold that sprint. Julia, I don't know how we're gonna get saved. You sealed your own fate. Your brazen attack has all but guaranteed my control of Rome. What control? No control? Look around you, you madman. Look at the chaos you've caused. Oh, look at this dude running into the mountains. Oh, he's gonna fight the people, is he? Okay, that is unfortunate. I have no way to lift up this tier. Come on, people, get that damn valet. Kill him, then Julia can at least do something. Mother of heavens! I mean, my own people are just working against me. <laughs> Friendly, they're working against me. Who would have fucking guessed? Let's see, I'm going to do an overpower here. Now that that's true. Who can we get maximum hits on? I think that dude there is doing assisting strike, please. Oh, was that as painful Shit. As it looked? I didn't spot this guy. I don't know why. Okay, that dude is going to burn himself to death anyway. Is this guy hunkered down, right? Okay. So we literally have to walk through fire to get out of this shit. This guy's shield is down. If we could somehow knock him down too, I think we'd be pretty in a pretty decent spot. Okay. What? Okay, the knockdown somehow never works for her. Getting out of here would mean we get burnt. Hmm. Can't even go down here, or can we? If 
crush please one health you've got to be Actually, you know what profiler probably be able to get out of here then We need this guy somehow No down I don't know how Head but We can Is he stunned? No The dude is still not stunned Oh, we'd be able to kill this guy, I guess. Concussive strike, please. Is any way we can? You know what? Cure him. And bandages on Julia. Is anyone gonna help me? Got to get out of this inferno. Five and three. Hopefully they should die, but you never know. To throw them, Phyla, eleven health damage, twenty percent maximum health. You know what? Let it be. Kill the prisoners. They are no longer any use to us. Lictus, lay down your arms and surrender in the name of the Republic. This Luko is applying maddening to whoever steps next to him, and that's a problem. Who's there? Get away from me! If anyone moves, they get this is the end. I'm taking you all down with me. You'll never get me! Come on, hit Lurko from afar. The people are turning on Lurko. He's literally being beaten to death by the people. Some of the actions with these neutral characters are just random. With the leopard. Well, obviously, this guy is burning. Okay, we need to figure out a way. Is an assisting strike worth it on him right now? There are these people nearby, but uh, I'm not too sure about them. You know what, anyway all of us won't be able to reach So I can Make taunt that fool so that he comes to us, you know But this is a very bad spot to taunt him, I wish I could Go where there are more angles of approach and then taunt him Or maybe we just brace. Brace and move up, huh? Alright, let's see. Can't reach this fool. We can overpower him though. Still has some...
piercing thrust. What? Still got hammer point? How? Okay, let's piercing thrust him. Poor glancing, huh? Get out of there, Kata. Let's see. Come on, Dianera. You get the end. Furious. We said cool down on skills, not bad at all. Let's throw a damn pile into his face. But let's see. If we come back here. Could we do a rousing speech and heal everybody up a bit, please? Everybody's healed. Well, we have him surrounded. So for now, I'm going to mark this fool. You sealed your own fate. Your brazen attack has all but guaranteed my control of Rome. What control? You're going to be dying now, brother. Oh, the people are going to save him. My new friends are going to save him. That's amazing. Have they revived him up? I guess so. Not bad. I'm too old for this shit. See, whoever goes ahead, I mean, oh, Luke was killed by the people of Rome himself. They killed the madman on the street. Step away from the console. It pains me to say this, but you'll have to come with us. Do as the Praetor says. There's not much I can do at this point. Why did you do this? It felt like the right thing to do. I don't know what to say. Why are they still bound say, up again? Thank you for saving my gloomy ass. I, for one, am happy not to be dead. You have disregarded everything I ever told you. Disregarding your advice saved your life in this case. And I thank you for that. But is it worth the cost? Well, you'll have a lot of time to figure that out. Thank you for granting me my life in exchange for yours. I will never forget this. Let's go. Hey man, there's no way we could have allowed him to kill our companions. I mean, th that's just bullshit. I mean, if, if I say that, okay, I'm going to retain the politically correct ground not get my hands dirty you look I, miserable i'm not doing that well i still look better than you liar i had a chat with kato he says not even kikoro can save you why did you do it we were ready to die for you <laughs> i would never let you die you are my dearest friends this is last option really has me laughing okay thank you i see no reason why we have to leave you in there you may be waiting to be exiled, but they will never let you live. You're too dangerous. So, do you want to get out of here? Hmm, and where would I even go? Anywhere but here. And what would I do on my own? I will help you escape and accompany you until you clear the border. After that, you're on your own. My life just started to make sense in Rome. I can't miss this opportunity. Besides, Aulus needs me. You know I'd come with you in the blink of an eye. If it weren't for my family. This hero's adventuring days are over. I'm sure you will understand. My place is by your side. That I owe to my Magister. I will come with you. I was planning to leave Rome already. And wherever we go from here, I will be happy for your company. Hmm... Very well, a jailbreak sounds like an excellent idea. Let's go. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> All right, let's start some trouble. Basically, we still don't get to be... A, a story of the selfless saviour of Rome has long since passed into legend. It is easy these centuries later to forget that in his time he was regarded as a criminal and forced to flee Rome with his friends to escape execution. We are more familiar with his legacy, 
the towering example of loyalty and righteousness that he came to represent in the years following his exile. He was a servant of Rome, who rose time and time again to defend the Republic in war and in politics. It was only at the very end, when the lives of his closest friends were threatened, that he turned his back on law and tradition. The example he set for his fellow Romans has endured to this day. It is said that he went on to become a wandering adventurer, an explorer of foreign lands. Stories appear in legends throughout the provinces of a band of traveling heroes who fought oppression and injustice wherever they went. It is widely believed these stories chronicle the life of the savior of Rome following his exile. But that is another kind of story for another time. Cineros. Once he had been an athlete, a wrestler, and a troublemaker. But in our story, he was a servus, a protector, and a mentor. He had died diligently performing the task to which he had devoted himself, protecting his ward. Cineros was given a tomb in Rome's finest cemetery, next to his old Dominus, whose death had incited this story. Though his death had been unexpected, he met his end with dignity and resolve. He had received forgiveness and, after a fashion, vindication for the mistakes of his youth. He was missed by all those who knew him. When his friends left Rome, Caeso stayed behind in the city to settle down with Lucia and their daughter. Though their relationship was distant at first, the shared love they felt for their daughter soon brought them close, and eventually they had more children together. To his surprise, Caeso took well to the quiet life and to fatherhood. And on the few occasions when he did feel that old lust for adventure bubble back to the surface, he would leave Rome for a time and visit his friends in exile, who were always glad to see him. Calida had stood by her companions through thick and thin, but now it was time for her to stand by herself. As they left Rome, she stayed behind and settled down in the city that had once rejected her. Now, for the first time ever, she felt at home there. Though many still looked askance at her for what they perceived as her unwomanly pursuits, she had learned to disregard their judgment, and she had plenty of friends in the city who now respected her for who she was and what she had achieved. Bestia returned to Africa to look for his sister again. Eventually, he did find her, and together they returned to Mauritania, where they settled down in an idyllic village and started new families of their own. In this new, quiet life, Bestia learned the true value of happiness. Deianeira followed her friend into exile. Rome had never quite lived up to her expectations, and she was glad to leave it behind. Eventually, she returned to her homelands of Shervia, where she reconnected with her family. But she always remained in contact with her friends, visiting frequently with new stories and exotic spices from distant lands. Claudiana lived for many more years. She had many friends in Rome, and her life was peaceful and comfortable until her final days. On her deathbed, she revealed that she had once been very close indeed with Lucullus, and that indeed the true family name of her children was Licinia. Cato remained an important figure in Roman politics, Grudgingly respected even by those among the population who desired change, he remained a defender of the patrician class, a shield against the pandering and opportunism of more populist voices. He himself was elected consul twice throughout his life, and his years in the position were generally favorably regarded. Cicero served one more year as consul before his retirement. In his old days, he lived a quiet life on a farm in Sicily, where he was greatly beloved by the people for his time as quaestor. He continued to write many books on politics and law. Defeated once more by Rome, Mithridates escaped to the lands north of the Black Sea in the hope that he could raise a new army. But the locals soon rebelled against his rule. Incapable of taking his own life by poison, in the end, Mithridates died by the sword of his bodyguard. With Zenobia in charge of Musia, 
it became once more a peaceful part of the Roman province of Asia Minor, with her focus on trade and strong ties to the neighboring regions her people enjoyed a period of great prosperity. Without the leadership of Damianus, the rebellion of his gladiators soon spiraled out of control, beginning what became known as the Servile War. Escaped slaves terrorized the Roman citizens throughout Thracia until the wealthy senator Crassus brutally defeated them and crucified thousands along the road towards Rome. With the death of the Pharaoh Ptolemy and Queen Cleopatra, the Ptolemaic dynasty had fallen. Despite the attempts of Rome to hold the nation together under their rule, a bloody war of succession soon arose between various parties claiming to be descendants of the Pharaoh. Rome was forced to send its legions to Egypt once again to restore stability by crushing the enemies of the Republic and rule Egypt with an iron fist. With the death of Cleopatra and under the steady guidance of Lunya, Nazarmanes once more became a peaceful and prosperous part of Africa Proconsularis, firmly aligned with Rome. As the eldest and most respected elder of the Berber tribes, Lunya became a singular figure of leadership and respect in the region. She was said to be more than a hundred years old when she died. After traveling all across Africa for many years, Going wherever her instincts took her, Raya eventually returned to Memphis and to the service of Tenere at the Temple of Ubasti. When her mentor passed away, Raya naturally assumed the mantle as High Priestess of the Cat Goddess. Though the old faith was dwindling, she was greatly beloved by many, and her temple prospered, always home to many, many, many cats. With Dewitiacus once more assuming rulership of the Aedui, the tribe maintained a strong alliance with Rome, and through it, they greatly prospered. With the aid of the Aedui, Gallia slowly unified under Roman rule, and civilization soon began to creep into those lands in the form of paved roads, aqueducts, and fortified Roman towns. In his old age, did the Druid ever regret hastening the absorption and suppression of his own faith and culture? We will never know. The defeat and death of Wakingatorix had reduced the once mighty Awerni tribe to a myriad bickering chieftains. Without his vision, his charisma, and his resolve, there was no unifying figure to rally around, and no way for Gallia to resist their slow but inevitable assimilation into Rome. Perhaps if Wakingatorix had lived, some of their culture or religion might have survived in some form. But surely they must be grateful that civilization at last was brought to their lands. In this work, I have done my best to recount the history of this fascinating period, truthfully and accurately. As I have scoured the sources and spoken to many who claimed to have heard the story from someone who was there at the time, one thing that has stood out to me is the pivotal moments along the way where our story could have turned out very differently. Might the Legatus and his friends have remained in Rome to influence its politics in the years to come? Perhaps if they had chosen to lead the Legion across the Rubicon and lay siege to Rome itself. I believe if such a thing had been done, Rome might no longer be a republic, but rather an empire. One should always take care when second-guessing historical figures with the benefit of hindsight. Here in the present, there will never truly be a way for you to know how you might have acted if you had lived in the past. Nor can you ever be certain how history will remember you. Well, you know what? I'm going to see if uh, facing the Senate would have actually worked. Instead of running into exile, if we had faced the Senate, would we have been exonerated? It's a... I mean, there's a chance that we would definitely not be. But well, thankfully this is a game. Un unlike real life, you get multiple chances at it. Oh damn, we have to go through that entire fight all over again, is it? No, I don't think so. Let's see.
Drop your weapon, citizen. Step away from the consul. It pains me to say this, but you'll have to come with us. Do as the Praetor says. There's not much I can do at this point. Why did you do this? Well, he was going to kill you and no child could have brought you back. The price was simply too high. Everything we've ever done. Was it all for nothing in the end? It's a selfless act, Kaiser. The final sacrifice of the finest commander Rome has ever known. You better remember this moment. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten, my friend. Let's go. You look miserable. I still look better than you. Liar. I had a chat with Kato. He says not even Kikoro can save you. Why did you do it? I we were ready to die for you. I would never let you die. You are my dearest friends. Thank you. I see no reason why we have to leave you in there. You may be waiting to be exiled, but they will never let you live. You're too dangerous. So, do you want to get out of here? Certainly not. That would implicate you. That is for us to decide. Enough, Kaiso. He made his decision. We must respect it. Wally, my friend. I will never forget you. You did well. You did very well. Thank you. Thank you. For showing me the very best of Rome. The spirits will remember you. The winds will sing your name in their songs. This is not the end. Okay, <laughs> that means you're definitely gonna die. The sacrifice of the savior of Rome has long since passed into legend. The historian's task is often to distill true events from the myths that are shared among people. But in this case, it proves nearly impossible to do so. It is said that the execution of Rome's savior led to 12 days of sorrow among its people. His corpse was taken from the temple by a mob stricken mad with grief and burned in the forum on a pyre built from the stolen furniture of every building on the Capitolium. Senators, eager to curry populist favor, declared his day of death to be a public holiday. Many built shrines of worship and reverence to their sacrificed hero. Whether these accounts are untrue or perhaps exaggerated, one thing is beyond doubt. Though he had given his life to do so, he had saved the Republic from the brink of tyranny and the temptation of empire. It is thanks to his noble sacrifice that our democracy has only grown stronger and that our Republic endures to this day. Cineros. Once he had been an athlete, a wrestler, and a troublemaker. But in our story, he was a servus, a protector, and a mentor. He had died diligently performing the task to which he had devoted himself, protecting his ward. Cineros was given a tomb in Rome's finest cemetery, next to his old Dominus, whose death had incited this story. Though his death had been unexpected, he met his end with dignity and resolve. He had received forgiveness and, after a fashion, vindication for the mistakes of his youth. He was missed by all those who knew him. Caeso left Rome with Lucia and their daughter. They traveled to Africa as Caeso remembered the warm nights and the lush Nile Delta fondly. Here they found a place to settle and made a peaceful home for their family. Though their relationship was distant at first, their devotion to their child drew them together, and their affection for each other grew stronger through the years. To his surprise, Caeso took well to fatherhood, and soon he and Lucia had many more children. Despite her disillusionment with Rome and everything it stood for, Calida was at least finally vindicated in the eyes of the law. Around that same time, her mother passed away, and Calida reconciled with her brother Aulus, whom she forgave for not standing up to their parents. Thanks to Calida's talent for spycraft, she deftly maneuvered the turmoil that swept across Rome in the wake of her friend's execution. And with her help, her family business thrived. After the death of his friend, Bestia returned to the arena once more. But he was no longer a gladiator. His new vocation was to teach Pankration, inspired by the example of his Magister Cineros. 
He applied himself to this new calling with every bit of the vigor and determination that had made him a champion before. As soon as things had quieted down, Bestia traveled to Africa once more to look for his sister. He did find her and bring her home, and she lived happily there for the rest of her life. With nothing left to keep her in Rome, Deanera returned to her homelands in Shervia, where she reconnected with her family. Far from condemning her for her sister's death as she had feared, they were all overjoyed to have at least one of their daughters back. In time, Deanera built a new family in Shervia and became a revered matriarch of her tribe. She never left them again. Claudiana lived for many more years. She had many friends in Rome, and her life was peaceful and comfortable until her final days. On her deathbed, she revealed that she had once been very close indeed with Lucullus, and that indeed the true family name of her children was Licinia. Cato remained an important figure in Roman politics, grudgingly respected even by those among the population who desired change. He remained a defender of the patrician class, a shield against the pandering and opportunism of more populist voices. He himself was elected consul twice throughout his life, and his years in the position were generally favorably regarded. Cicero served one more year as consul before his retirement. In his old days, he lived a quiet life on a farm in Sicily, where he was greatly beloved by the people for his time as quaestor. He continued to write many books on politics and law. Defeated once more by Rome, Mithridates escaped to the lands north of the Black Sea in the hope that he could raise a new army. But the locals soon rebelled against his rule. Incapable of taking his own life by poison, in the end, Mithridates died by the sword of his bodyguard. With Zenobia in charge of Musia, it became once more a peaceful part of the Roman province of Asia Minor, With her focus on trade and strong ties to the neighboring regions, her people enjoyed a period of great prosperity. Without the leadership of Damianos, the rebellion of his gladiators soon spiraled out of control, beginning what became known as the Servile War. Escaped slaves terrorized the Roman citizens throughout Thracia, until the wealthy senator Crassus brutally defeated them and crucified thousands along the road towards Rome. With the death of the pharaoh Ptolemy and Queen Cleopatra, the Ptolemaic dynasty had fallen. Despite the attempts of Rome to hold the nation together under their rule, a bloody war of succession soon arose between various parties claiming to be descendants of the pharaoh. Rome was forced to send its legions to Egypt once again to restore stability by crushing the enemies of the Republic and rule Egypt with an iron fist. With the death of Cleopatra and under the steady guidance of Lunya, Mazarmanes once more became a peaceful and prosperous part of Africa Proconsularis, firmly aligned with Rome. As the eldest and most respected elder of the Berber tribes, Lunya became a singular figure leadership and respect in the region. She was said to be more than a hundred years old when she died. After traveling all across Africa for many years, going wherever her instincts took her, Raya eventually returned to Memphis and to the service of Tenere at the Temple of Ubasti. When her mentor passed away, Raya naturally assumed the mantle as high priestess of the cat goddess. Though the old faith was dwindling, she was greatly beloved by many, and her temple prospered, always home to many, many, many cats. With Duitiacus once more assuming rulership of the Idwe, the tribe maintained a strong alliance with Rome, and through it, they greatly prospered. With the aid of the Idwe, Gallia slowly unified under Roman rule, and civilization soon began to creep into those lands in the form of paved roads, aqueducts, and fortified Roman towns. In his old age, did the Druid ever regret hastening the absorption and suppression of his own faith and culture? We will never know.
The defeat and death of Wakinga Torix had reduced the once mighty Awerni tribe to a myriad bickering chieftains. Without his vision, his charisma, and his resolve, there was no unifying figure to rally around, and no way for Gallia to resist their slow but inevitable assimilation into Rome. Perhaps if Wakinga Torix had lived, some of their culture or religion might have survived in some form. But surely they must be grateful that civilization at last was brought to their lands. In this work, I have done my best to recount the history of this fascinating period, truthfully and accurately. As I have scoured the sources and spoken to many who claimed to have heard the story from someone who was there at the time, one thing that has stood out to me is the pivotal moments along the way, where our story could have turned out very differently. If the savior of Rome had fled into exile, would the absence of such a shining example of duty and sacrifice have left the Senate door open for another aspiring despot to take the throne? Or, if Wetelius Lurko had not been struck down on that stage, would the death of an innocent hero of Rome have served as an equally strong example to the citizens and senators? Most intriguingly of all, if the Legion had crossed the Rubicon on that fateful day, might Rome now be no longer a republic, but an empire? One should always take care when second-guessing historical figures with the benefit of hindsight. Here in the present, there will never truly be a way for you to know how you might have acted if you had lived in the past. Nor can you ever be certain how history will remember you. Okay, so I guess this is it, ladies and gents. We've reached the logical end of our great journey, of our expedition to Rome. It was fun while it lasted. <laughs> I think we really took a long period to get this. I had a lot of things uh, happening. As and when we were playing, I had uh, a proper two-week break because of my sister's wedding for which I had traveled out. And uh, well, this is an RPG, so it's no small game. I mean, it takes a long period of time to cover. So yeah, this was fun. Thank you so much for all of you who have joined in. And I hope this kind of a walkthrough has some use for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for joining in. And uh, until next video, game on.